know, this is a hybrid system. Hybrid meaning, you know, the voter has a choice. They can use a, uh, a paper ballot or vote on the uh, touchscreen. So if they choose a, uh, the touchscreen scenario, they would be issued a little authority to vote slip here, okay? And they would go off to the machine along with the card. The card gets inserted into the express vote. And then the uh, ballot style, when they uh, check in, gets uh, a barcode that represents that voter's ballot style, is on the authority to vote slip, which would be scanned. That ballot style would come up on screen. We would activate it. At this point, the precinct election official can step away and uh, the voter can go ahead and make their selections. And it's very similar now to what they're currently doing on the Ivotronic. It's just a touch screen. It's impossible to overvote. They would just, it's a paging system, just like the current Ivotronic. You can touch it anywhere on the line to make their selections. A couple other nice features of it. Um, if they have a problem seeing the font size, we can zoom that up to about 30 point type. We also have the ability to flip the screen, so if they have color blindness or macro de uh, de degeneration, this typically helps bring out uh, the candidate name for them. Uh, and if they were completely blind, they could have headphones on and they would be audibly walk through the ballot. Okay? And we got a lot of help with the American Federation of the Blind on the look and feel and the setup of this. Uh, so very easy, up and down arrows, navigate through the contest and the right and left arrow um, go through each uh, to the next contest or previous contest, okay? So they would just navigate through using the touchpad of that. At the end of the voting session, it splashes up a review page showing all their selections. Uh, the green check marks means you fully voted. This is just giving a heads up saying, hey, this was a vote for two, you only voted for one. If they wanted to go back and make a, a second selection, they can just go ahead and touch on that race they want to change or uh, incorporate a, a, an additional selection. When they hit next, it will take them right back to the review page. Then at the end of it, what we're going to do is print the card. Remember, this is a hybrid system. So basically, it is producing a paper record Okay, so now the voter can go ahead and take a look at, manually look at uh, each race and whom they voted for to verify it. Now in order to get that cast, all they do is come over to the DS200 and insert it. It doesn't matter, upside down, backwards, how it goes in. Count it, thanks them for voting, and now we're ready for the next voter.